welcome to my tube. My name's Marge, Milk Empath, and I just like having these little talks and the way I feel about things. And today I feel great. Look at my racing stripe. It's coming in. I'm growing my hair out, so it's gonna do all kinds. I'm gonna go through all. It, it's cool about having my my uh, my tube here because it's watching the transitions of my progression and if my version of my ascension what I talk about here did I say hey my name's Marge welcome to my two uh, I'm all over the place it's this Aquarius season T take it while you got it right while it lasts because it's gonna be gone in a second everything's freaking fluid and flowy and whoopee <laughs> I dig it man uh, but it's there's not all fun and jokes there's a lot of business at hand and but anyway I feel good about things and growing my hair out and I'm like this is doing weird stuff over here you know and I did the uh the thing where they freaking I shaved my head a couple summers ago and it was freaking uh, initially it was an accident and then I went with it for a while because the water got shut off and it was just easier to stay clean that way and uh and uh then I started going to a barber getting cut there and stuff like that and then and then now I'm freaking growing it out and it's making me real uncomfortable and have to push past boundaries and, and, uh, freaking comfort zones and things like that. Cause, cause there's a way, you know, I, I feel better when I look good and, and when I, my hair's growing out, I feel like it's unkempt and it's just wayward and it is and, but it does some good stuff. So you got to just take the good and leave the rest. But when it gets long, I, I get these racing stripes <sighs> It's cool. Anyway, I'm excited about life today, and it's been a super long time since I have been, you know, and uh, I just made some cookies, and I'm going to go down to the flower shop here in a little bit and see what's going on there, and uh, I had a talk prepared, and then the song's rattling, and it's playing in the background, and it's kind of loud, so I'm going to freaking pass it and see if I can recall what I was going to talk about. Oh, I remember. <laughs> That's what it was. Um, Mom's watching NCIS. The synchronicities are freaking everywhere. They're just every day, all the time. And I'm just like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, and some of them just like, holy cow! If you pay attention, the universe is is as clever and as witty and as charming as you are. You know, because we're just a spectator sport we're just spirits having a human experience you know so it can be as wonderful or as freaking closed off and docile as you want it to be and I'm standing next to the TV because I always I always use an analogy or I often use an analogy of myself as a tuning fork as far as vibration and energy and things like that and uh, I was standing right next to the TV getting dressed ready for my my day to venture out and uh, and uh, Denozo had a geyser, Geiger counter, and I was like, holy crap, that's what I am. I'm a Geiger counter. I'm a freaking Geiger counter. A Geiger counter is what they use to measure freaking radiation and things like that. I feel people's frequency, hey, okay, empath. Everybody does it. Most people ignore it. Some people recognize it and call it, oh, the coincidence or whatever. There ain't no coincidence at all. Synchronicity um, is the way I see it. And um, and I'm a Geiger counter, and I was telling Mom, and I was like, it's, and most of the time, I don't want to know people's business. I don't. So I really freaking, I spend a lot of effort. Most, and it didn't take, you know, I just wear these when I go out everywhere and listen to my music and just listen to my own soundtrack. Hey, Benny, how you doing, buds? Because I don't really want to know what people are up to energetically. I don't really care. Because most people are really have weird stuff about them. I mean, look at all the TV show that is popular, you know, over the history. It's just, eh, you know. So people are into is what they're into. And I don't really want to tap in on people's energy like that. So I really try and keep myself out of it. But God, some people freaking are so creepy and so gross, you know. And, and I just, I feel it. And I just, ugh. Mm, you know, it, and what what can I do? I can do nothing. When am I going to go to the police? I'm like, you might want to investigate that person. They feel weird. <laughs> that one way the world would be like that. You know, we need to have more impasse and freaking police 
police, you know, and I, I saw a story the other day on a positive note about law enforcement, and maybe they'll go this way. I think they're going to go the freaking militant way for a little bit, and then it's we're going to have kind of a clash for a little bit, about a year or so, and then things are going to settle down. But love seeing freaking law enforcement first responders um, in yoga and meditation, having to do those practices and things like that, because people need to find their center, because everybody, <laughs> either you're going to hold your your flame or you're gonna let it go and explode and and people you know good people are gonna end up in scary places because of it and bad situations so it is the season to keep the quiet that you know to to respond and I'm just gonna go out and just watch everything you know and if I can help in any situation I'm gonna offer my assistance but for the most part it's the world's gonna get crazy yeah you know it it already is but it's Ah, the way I see it, and I'm pretty, I've, 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 uh, been pretty right about things for, for some time to time. He even says it in my horoscope. I was really into my, my birth chart yesterday, and I was like, God damn, this is just me being me, man. This is just me being me, and, and, you know, I really feel like I'm about to find people that are really going to appreciate for me being me, you know, and all that I have to attribute, and, and, uh. I have a lot of experience to offer, and I'm not seeing a lot of... I see a lot of people who have good information to offer and, and, and good things, you know, data to pass on, but I have a lot of life experience to offer that I can help people listen to themselves to be safe, you know, and, and still live a joyful life, you know, not live in fear. No, nobody needs to live in fear. When you live in fear, you're going to draw things, instances occurrences to your life that are freaking gonna make you scared so don't live in that vibe of fear you know rise above it you know hang out with your friends laugh a lot eat healthy clean good food you know live with your family your whole life never move out go you know all that commune and leave it or get your own space stay close you know maybe wander off for a little while but come back you know later in years when they need you you know it's all about community and inclusion and I also see it as a red flag when I see all these readers and practitioners of the spiritual type and otherwise that are offering you advice so much advice and guidance with at such a high cost you know and I don't even know what these costs are because I won't even look because it will just make my third eye twitch but just like when they're saying oh we we're offering this at four hundred dollars off four hundred dollars off what is this you know and would people save this i'm like there should be no homeless people nowhere and I'm really trying not to get triggered it's like it's like it's like the world is trying to trigger me it is that's what i feel like right because there's i've never seen so many freaking audis mercedes and i'm like these cars are all crap you know and they drive them so stupid that they all wreck them anyway you know but but I just like all these people that are feeding their egos and I'm just like, man, why can't they find their joy in themselves? It's so much less costly. But things are changing. Things are changing. I feel good about it. You know, uh, mom and I had a squabble this morning. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't all love and light, y'all. She freaking sometimes, she stands in her power, dude. And I just listen because I'm not going to yell anymore. I yelled for years and years and years, thinking that would get through, and all that get got all that, all that got through is my anger, and I'm, that's what I'm trying to do is rise past my anger, and I'm trying to help other people recognize that if they have problems, trouble, conflicts with their anger, that you can rise past it too. There's just a few tricks in the trade and whatnot, but I'll share them for free. I don't care. I want to earn my money taking photos. We got a pocket full of business cards. I'm gonna just keep start keeping them with me wherever I go, and then that way I hand them it out. And, you know, and I'll to pick your price photography. I got my Nikon. I went out yesterday. I got one picture. I got a picture of the sun and around it the way the the clouds looked. It was like a a shell. It looked like the shell. As above, so below. Nature does is the most glorious, glorious artist. You know, can't can't make any more thing more beautiful than mother earth can you know humans just heck these days they just keep creating things to freaking bomb and destroy and i did see this i'm gonna wrap up on this 
now they're playing with energy weapons. Uh, this is, and I don't even know because I've been haven't been watching on the internet. But this is what I'm putting together. They're putting together. Uh, there's confirmation. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Energy weapons and um, and they're playing with stuff they don't need to play with because uh, that's karma they don't want to deal with. And um, and I know this with just by a nonchalant in passing comment that uh, the chump said about. Uh, uh, the real estate agent, the art of the deal, um, <laughs> that a bunch of military members and I, I, I over there, uh, have headaches. So that tells me they're playing with this, this, this energy. What? And the, that's the thing. That's where all your money goes to. That's why I don't have heat. That's why I don't have water. Cause I couldn't afford it and they shut it all off and they don't care, you know? Because all the money, the, 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 all the taxes, everything that this country earns goes into creating machines to kill. And that's all changing, too. Because you think about how happy people could be if they could just live without being in fear of losing everything they have in a second in a heartbeat. Because I know so many people that live like that on a daily basis. They're just like a car wreck or a hospital visit or something away from... That's it. The rest of my life is just going to be spent paying t towards this entity that already has enough and plenty. And these are the these are the consciousnesses that are changing. And for that, I am grateful. I hope you have a rad day. Peace.